Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Senator Majority Whip. Uh, Senator Osotsi Godfrey Otieno. Otieno, sorry. Mr. Speaker, thank you for that opportunity. Uh, from the onset, Mr. Speaker, I want to declare that I'm going to oppose this bill. Mr. Speaker, I have had an opportunity as a chair of the County Public Investment and Special Funds Committee to have audit review sessions with over 80 water service providers in this country. And um, my committee has done a wonderful job to try and deal with the challenges that we have noted. And the challenges are not just management challenges, but also we have other challenges, which if addressed, will be able to sort out the problem we have had with the uh, water uh, provision in our counties. In this review meetings, Mr. Speaker, we have noted that the water service providers in our counties were seen to be autonomous from the county government because the Ministry of Water was dealing directly with the water service providers and overlooking the county governments. But we have been able, Mr. Speaker, successfully to take away uh, ownership of these water companies uh, from, uh, from uh, the boards of uh, those water companies to the county governments. And Mr. Speaker, this has had a great effect on the issue of provision of water. One example, Mr. Speaker, a county where water service provision was being managed badly was your own county, Mr. Speaker. The other one was Muranga County, where cartels were running water companies without the involvement of county government. We have been able to take it back to the county government and made a raft of recommendations on how these water companies should run. Mr. Speaker, when I read this bill, all that efforts that we have done as a committee are going to waste. Because this bill tries to do the contrary. Mr. Speaker, because of the challenges that we noted when we were looking at the audit reports, we decided as a committee to do an inquiry on water investments in our county, counties. And we invited the regional waterworks companies. We have invited WASREP. We have invited uh, WASPA, WASPA, which is an association of uh, water service providers. We have invited the Ministry of Water. We have invited the Treasury. We have invited the Attorney General. And Mr. Speaker, this Friday, we are going to have an engagement as a committee with the Council of Governors Committee on Water, where seven governors are going to attend. And in this meeting, we are going to discuss what are the possible solutions of dealing with these challenges in the water sector. But Mr. Speaker, I'm surprised that this bill is being rushed in this house, whereas a committee of this house is seeking solutions which it will bring to this house for debate. And this bill is running contrary to what we are doing. I want to give you an example, Mr. Speaker. We have uh, the regional waterworks companies. We have the Rift Valley Waterworks, Central Rift Waterworks, North Rift Waterworks. We have Northern Kenya Waterworks. We have Lake Victoria North and Lake Victoria South. We have Coast Water. We have Tanathi. We have Athi Water. Mr. Speaker, I want to say in this house, following our engagement with this uh, waterworks company. This regional waterworks company are a waste to this country. 
What they do, Mr. Speaker, is that they only sit there to write proposals to get funding from donors. Then once the money comes, they build water projects without the engagement of counties, and then they purport to hand over those water projects to counties just a mere letter. And in those agreements, governors are not involved in negotiating those agreements. It's only the Treasury. The Ministry of Water is involved, but the counties are not involved. And then they come and build waterworks, then they leave them there idle, or they hand over to themselves. Mr. Speaker, we have found out that the loans that were taken by these water companies have never been repaid. Billions of money, they have never been repaid. But what this bill is doing is simply giving those companies more powers. More powers in bulk water supply, more powers in even doing what water county water service providers are supposed to be doing. So as Senator Sifuna is saying, we are going to see a situation where water service providers in the counties are going to die. People are going to lose employment. And now, effectively, it will mean that the regional water works companies, which belong to the national government, will basically be doing 100% work of providing water in our counties. Are we going to sit here as a Senate to approve this fraud? Of course, no. Article 96 of the Constitution empowers us to protect counties. Mr. Speaker, and I want to implore my colleagues, if we pass this bill here today, we will basically be saying this country does not need the Senate. We better go home. If we can allow ourselves to pass this bill, that is the verdict the people of Kenya are going to say about us. Mr. Speaker, the issue of bulk water supply. Bulk water supply cannot be a national government function only. Allow the counties to develop capacities to do bulk water supply. But this bill simply limits that to the national government by giving that role to the regional water works authorities and the storage water authority. Mr. Speaker, when you talk about privatization, we all support privatization. But we must, not, we must know that public-private partnerships are not cheap, they're expensive. So what we are going to see is a scenario where the cost of water is going to shoot up. It's going to go up. The moment we pass this bill, that is what is going to happen. Mr. Speaker, this house exists to protect devolution. But the biggest enemy of devolution in this country, and I want to say it today, is the bureaucrats in government. They are the ones who scheme to bring such bills to this house. If you are not careful, you pass them. But once you pass them, you are passing corruption. The billions of money that Kenyan people have been forced to borrow on those water projects that have not been paid, this bill is going to sanitize that. Mr. Speaker, I would request my colleagues, if you allow, that this bill be stood down. Allow the committee that was doing this work to bring a report to this house, read it through, see the challenges, look at the solutions, then we can look at this bill, and I'm sure, Mr. Speaker, you are going to appreciate that this bill is the worst bill I have ever seen since I started working as a member of parliament. It will not just take water provision to the national government, but it's going to create worse problems in the water sector. When you say the regulation of water, which has been done by this WASREP, and we have had problems with the WASREP, 
Because WASREP is regulating water, but it's a national body which is being financed by water service providers which are in counties. They don't receive any budget from the exchequer. They don't receive any exchequer from the national government. But they are financed by the water service providers which are based in counties. And now you are saying that these people are now the ones who are going to license who provides bulk water, including private companies. And at the same time, they are being financed by county government. Mr. Speaker, we have to relook at these things in totality and make the right decision. And I believe the right decision is total rejection of this bill. And we are not talking politics here, my colleagues from the other side. It is not politics. This is basically one devolution, which every senator here, regardless of which political party brought you to this house, you have a role to protect devolution. Number two, we do not want to be part of the mess that the Senate that passed this motion has created more mess in the water sector than in resolving the problems. Mr. Speaker, allow us to go and handle the, the engagement with the COG and do a report which will bring to this house that members can go through and it is going to be the best guide to deal with this challenge that we have before us because of having an engagement with over water, 80 water service providers and also the various entities in the water sector so that we give you the best way forward. Mr. Speaker, I oppose. Thank you so much, uh, Senator Osotsi. Uh, I call upon Senator Abbas Mohamed. Um,